So today I'm going to talk about my dr drone. This is my Mavic Pro and I bought it a few years back, a couple years back. It was the Fly More Combo. Um, it's been a real good drone, but just like everything, technology is new today and is old tomorrow. And the only thing I can tell you is that this is the stepping platform to all the DJI uh, drones. They have slowly improved them, gotten better cameras, um, better software to work all that, you know, the obstacle avoidance system on it, more sensors. But I have to say that this first generation of drone is a workhorse. It has been flawless for me. I've never crashed it. It has a ton of features in it. Um, follow me mode. It has some sensors in the front. It definitely can carry some distance. So overall, I, I can say I've been really happy about this drone. With that said, let's get going here. I'm going to set this up and then I'm going to take off and I'm going to keep it in line of sight. Let me pull in my camera. There's a lake back there on this house. I am going to fly it over that area there and kind of do a little spin around and uh, let you guys check out the footage on it. Stay tuned. So I'm right now trying to get my, my focus here. Uh, if you can see this on camera and I'm going to turn it around for some reason my joysticks are not really set completely the way it should be and um, I'm going to check my battery status and it's good um, I'm basically going to what I'm noticing is there is some strong wind, but anyway, let's, let's bring it up. I'm going to bring this back down so you can take a look. I don't know if you can see that. Basically, I'm... Um, Before I do anything, I want to make sure I have agree. Uh, cinnamon mode, cinematic mode. It okay. That allows me to fly my drone at a slower speed. I'm gonna hit my record, and I'm gonna advance. Right now, going across the lake. What I've noticed lately is that the gimbal has been catching the props. I'm gonna bring it up.
close my camera. Keep going up. I'm at 85% of the battery. Got a little bit of a latency of the video. What you're looking here is the Caloosahatchee River. I'm sorry about the noise. Uh, the uh, landscaper here is cleaning the grass off of my sidewalk with his blower. Should have done this uh, a while ago. bit of a single loss here and yeah I think I need to do an update on this drone So I'm gonna do a return to home. Man, you can't beat that. I'm doing a uh, firmware uh, update. It is slow. So, I've actually done this three times. So what's my take with the Mavic? So what's my take on this? So what's my take with the Mavic? And the reason why is because I have been flying this and trying to figure out what I can say about it. And it has been a long time that I have not done anything with this drone. It's just basically been sitting in my closet. But with that said, um, when I bought this, this was the first foldable drone that DJI made. Prior to that, they had the Sparks and I believe they had the Phantom. And, um, you know, the Phantom was a great drone, but it didn't have its own camera. Uh, they were using GoPro back then. Um, but quite honestly, once Mavic Pro was put out there, this actually became the stepping stone for DJI. Um, what can I tell you about it? 
I honestly can say that it is a well-built drone. Now, I cannot say that I didn't have issues with this. When I first got my Mavic Pro, uh, and by the way, this is my second one. My first one, um, I took it out to fly and I lost my GPS on it and I battled it to come back. And I was very novice in flying this thing and I managed to get it back. And you know, good thing is that I, I had bought the refresh care plan on this. And so I was able to ship it out and get it replaced. But it took a long time because these things were in demand back then. And um, the production and the repair shops and all, they were just over their head with, you know, with these things. Um, and just imagine, you know, I bought the Fly More combo on this and it, with the refresh care plan and all came out to $1,300. So that day when this thing was flying away from me, that's what I was seeing over a grand, just saying goodbye. But I got it back and, you know, DJI really worked on perfecting this thing. They, um, they took all the glitches out of this drone and they made it perfect. This thing is a beast. And in the sense of that ever since the software was repaired and all the glitches, to this day, this thing still flies like the day it was made. I feel really confident putting this up in the air knowing that it's, it's not going to fail me. I have flown this numerous times. But with that said, it's, it's past its time. Um, there are drones now that have taken place of this, but this is the actual beginning of all those drones that follow suit. And what they've done is they took all the technology that has been in this drone and advanced it onto the newer stuff, which is great. I mean, for the people who are coming into this now, they're, they're actually getting a superb drone all due to this Mavic Pro. Um, it was the their jewel, I guess I want to say. Um, the good thing about this drone is even though it's old and time has passed it up, you can still find the parts for it. They're all out there. Um, my biggest concern was the battery. Um, I have actually bought Power Extra of Mavic Pro battery. It is an identical to the the original, and they come in a nice they, two of them. They come in a nice uh, lipo battery, just fireproof bags for travels. Um, the only difference that I find about these these two batteries, you know, and I, I actually had put the original one in in the case, but it's the lights and and the colors. The original matches the, the drone itself and I want to say the aftermarket uh, is a little lighter. But my biggest concern is that these are intelligent batteries. When they were made, it actually communicates with the drones on everything from the return to home, how much power is left, and, um, and the conditioning. When you look in your app, it gives you all that information on what's happening with this drone when it's up in the air. And my concern with the non-original battery is that I didn't know whether or not this will do the same. But quite frankly, this company is taking a chance 
and actually perfected this, this battery just as an original because if you think about sending this up with a battery that they have made and it fails, I would assume they can get sued. And this battery does everything exactly as a OEM battery of DJI. So what do I think? Well, you can still get these. You can go on eBay or Amazon and buy them. But the problem with an original DJI battery is that they get old. And I can tell you because I bought the Flymore Combo and one of them definitely, uh, I don't have it anymore, uh, bellied up and it, to me it, it wasn't even taking the charge and, and definitely not safe to fly with even if I could. Then I have another one in the box, the original box, still brand new, never used, and I'm pretty sure that that one is not in the best condition. And I don't even know if I can get a charge on it. I don't know if you can see that. All right, it's, it's bubbled here. So I'm not gonna take the chance using this battery flying this drone because it might fall off from the air and hurt somebody. That was my biggest concern about this drone being that, you know, that it's become outdated because DJI don't make this battery anymore. If you want to buy this battery, you need to go to either eBay or Amazon and look for it. And I'm going to tell you, you can get two of this for the price of one of these, an original DJI battery. And that was one of my biggest concerns with, you know, with this, uh, with this drone. Um, there's so much you can do with this thing. Uh, the nice thing about it is that it still has all the features in it, the follow me mode, the uh, you know the um, the what they call the rocket. Uh, it, it just has phenomenal stuff that you can do with it. It's the only drone I know that you could actually tether it with another controller and teach somebody how to fly it. And the minute they lose control in their in their end, you can take over of this drone. I don't know if the new one's doing that. I've not researched that. If someone out there knows, just made a comment down below and let me know. Um, but while I was going through this drone and trying to figure out the flying and this and that, the thing that I find about this drone is that the camera has a fixed aperture. The only thing you can really work with is the uh, ISO. Um, and uh, the ISO and I think uh, the, uh, the auto, what they call the auto balance, the light balance on it. And you can get really beautiful footage on this, but you really have to tinker around with this camera. This is not like your, your newer drones now that they have a much superior camera that really there's not a whole lot of playing around with it. You can do raw footage on this and then kind of tweak it on your uh, on your software and it works nicely. I mean I got some beautiful footage on this.
today I took it out and I flew it just to see how the sport mode worked because I couldn't figure out how to get it into sport mode and that's actually in the in the software. Well, I'm going to show you what speed this thing can fly. I'm going to stand right here in the shade so I can look at this controller well. But um, it's windy and uh, I'm just going to do a real quick flight and demonstrate what sport mode is all about. I'm gonna shoot for sport mode. I'm gonna come by me. You'll see in a minute. Now I'm switching to sport mode and it's just asking me the, the obstacle avoidance is, is turned off. Now I just want to align it. And I'm going to full throttle this back. Man, that is an incredible speed. I have it fly over me again. This thing can really move. Man, look at that thing take off. Um, you know, DJI still do software updates on this. And, you know, there were so many of these made. There's so many of them out there now. Um, but they still hold their value. If you go to Amazon and you try to buy this new, it's going to cost you a grand. The problem with that is that today's drones are for lesser of a price, you can get a really nice drone. Um, I have mine, so I didn't need to go out and buy it, but, and I'm still flying it, I enjoy it. I, I thought about selling it, but I don't wanna be bothering trying to ship this out to someone and this and that. Um, I no longer use this to do all my videos now. I'm actually, using this drone. So here's the difference. You know, this is much smaller and compact. In the days that this came out, this was considered the super compact drone because it folded and all. And, and when you had the Phantom, you actually had a suitcase. But this by far has more technology behind it, the camera is superb, and it's compact. Has OcuSync, you can fly this thing pretty far. Um, legally, you should keep a uh, line of sight on, on both of these drones, because you can fly this, you can fly this really far. And I'm not just talking about, you know, like from here to there. You can go a couple of miles out on this thing and still see really well on your app uh, what the camera is actually seeing. But Mavic Pro made a stepping stone six years ago and time has passed it up. There generations of drones now that have exceeded this. I think there was a Platinum Mavic Pro that came suit after that. I don't know the difference of it. Um, but quite honestly, you know, this is a good drone. I, I, I really liked it. And it's fun to fly, especially when you do the, uh, the sport mode. This thing, could cook. Um, I did do a little shoot with it. I don't know how well it's going to be on my video, but I'll run that by too so that you can see. Um, but it's amazing. Now, you can buy this 
uh, either on eBay and maybe on Amazon. Most owners of these, what they do is they, um, they realize they have this drone, they're not flying it anymore, just like me. They see it in the closet, they pull it out, and they say, you know what, I'm, I'm gonna sell it. And that's great, because that means that you can get this drone that I paid a lot for back then for lesser of the price. And if someone has one in really good condition that hasn't been crashed and all, that's that's the catch, even though these things were pretty, pretty durable because there were people doing some crazy stuff with this and survived crashes. I've never crashed the, my drone. It's, it's like the day I bought it. Oh, and uh, if you do find a DJI battery, just to let you know that you are running the risk that that battery may it may not work well. Just keep that in mind. You know, me personally, you can't go wrong with the new battery. It's, it works just as fine. I've flown with this, actually with both batteries. Um, I still have this one. I've gotten probably like 28 charges of it and it's still holding well. I What I do is I try not to leave it a full, uh, what do you call it, a full charge in it, anywhere between, you know, uh, 50 to 30 percent of the charge. And then I set it my software, I set it to one day to automatically start discharging. Um, what I am going to do is get in the habit, at least if fly it once a month, to just kind of keep everything fresh. And, uh, and not allow the batteries to, you know, get bad. But as far as this goes, this thing flies just phenomenal. I did a software update. There will also be another clip in there uh, somewhere along the line of what I'm talking here. Um, but she flies well. I, I, I'm really impressed. After six years, it still flies like the day I bought it. Um, but I don't use it anymore, so not for doing my videos of my hikes and wherever I go. The Mini 2, uh, for me, is my go-to drone. Um, this thing is great. It is very stable. It holds really well in winds. Well, mind you, you, you don't want to have super winds, but it does well on um, pretty, pretty windy days. I try not to fly on windy days because then you can have what they call a drift away and then it'll be really hard to get that drone back to you. But that's it guys. If you have any questions on, you know, on this drone, please leave your comments below. And if you're interested in it, in getting a Mavic Pro, I wouldn't say to you no. But don't break bank in it because, quite honestly, if someone's asking a lot for this, you can actually get something like this. Um, I don't know. Maybe these will become collectors down the road. <laughs> Who knows? Uh, all I can tell you is that every drone that follows through on their technology is all father from this. And... You know, at least I can tell you that uh, it's been a solid drone and it still is a solid drone. But thank you for watching.